Hey guys, Anomalous here. Uh, today I'm going to be speaking about Enhancement Shaman in Legion. And I'm just going to put the basic stuff out there as I will do more than just one video. Uh, reasons for that are multiple. Uh, first, I don't like to bore you with the details. Uh, second, uh, it's going to take some time for me uh, to get the proper feel of the class. And uh, third, as you might know, uh, there are something called uh, PvP talents that will be introduced in the new expansion. So, uh, in order to get the full potential of the class, uh, I will have to try them all out and do the min-max. Uh, that being said, in this video, I'm, I will only speak of the very basic changes uh, that are going to shape up the future gameplay of the Enhancement Shaman. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Shaman DPS rotation is being changed by implementing the resource called Maelstrom. Uh, how does it work? Uh, well, you generate it by uh, using the ability called Rockbiter, or Rockbiter, I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, veteran players probably know the word. Uh, why you generate Maelstrom? Well, you generate it to use Storm Strike, uh, which is our main damaging ability in Legion. Uh, you also use it to insta heal with Healing Surge and do AoE damage and uh, cleave damage with some spells. Uh, I will mention and explain that later on in my videos. Uh, let's keep it simple for now. Um, you also have the ability called Flame Tongue, uh, which doesn't require any resource for casting, uh, just like Rock Bitter, but it has a, a short cooldown. It does uh, half the damage, but enhances your weapons uh, to do additional fire damage for the next 16 seconds when you auto attack. Uh, both uh, spells have 10 yard range, so you don't have to be at melee range uh, with the enemy constantly. Lava Lash still exists, uh, but it's uh, more of a filler spell. Uh, for example, when Storm Strike is on cooldown, and it's not a short cooldown, believe me, uh, and uh, when you have plenty of Maelstrom. Uh, the next big thing is uh, that you don't have totems uh, anymore as, as your baseline, baseline spells. Uh, you have them in the form of talents, uh, so they are very much optional now. Uh, so what can I say about Enhancement Shaman in general? Uh, well, we do have good damage, and I'm pretty sure it will stay like that in retail. Uh, there are a few OP classes in beta at the moment, so naturally the people are exploiting that, of course. Um, but all in all, I was like in top 5 damage-wise in a few BGs, and uh, I don't even know how to play it very well yet. What concerns me um, is the squishiness of our beloved class. Uh, healing is very expensive resource-wise, and uh, honestly, it's very scarce. Uh, for example, if you have full mana and full Maelstrom, uh, you can cast uh, only like seven, six or seven healing surges, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, that will hardly get you up to half HP. Uh, so I sincerely hope something changes till launch. Of course, uh, I will be able to speak uh, about everything uh, with uh, a lot more certainty, uh, when I achieve the full potential of the class. Uh, so don't take my word for it just yet. Um, that being said, uh, I conclude the, today's video. Uh, I wanted to show you some battlegrounds, but it got buggy as hell uh, when I tried to record it. Uh, so I will do it as uh, soon as they repair it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.